Hey everyone, back to you into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the week ahead today. Having a detailed look, as detailed as we can get uh, in terms of weather for the coming week across the British Isles. It's a fairly straightforward situation up to the middle part of the week and then at the end of the week it becomes very, very, very uncertain, incredibly uncertain for Thursday and Friday as to what is happening uh, across the country. So, uh, just with the caveat, but let's get to Thursday and Friday, pretty much anything could happen. Now, before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages at gasweathers.com. Have a browse through the widgets. If there's any articles that you're interested in, please click through. You'll be able to go off and read the article. And thanks very much for uh, doing that. Just to quickly say about to what's coming up tomorrow. We've got the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation uh, forecast for the winter of 2015-16 uh, tomorrow, so for the coming winter. There is a connection between Atlantic sea surface temperature anomalies and uh, the pattern that occurs in, the, in May and the pattern that occurs in the uh, coming winter. So we'll be explaining all of that tomorrow. It'll be a very interesting video. Do come back and check that out uh, tomorrow. The uh, websites we're using for the weekend forecast, so again, back to today's video, I come from weatherapp.com and website.de. Find both of those websites on the link to page. So let's just start off with the radar picture, first of all. And here we go uh, for today. You can see that we've got showers across many parts of Scotland. Longer spells of rain, central southern parts. Scotland does some quite heavy rain mixed in, and a few showers breaking out further south as well. Not only is it wet up in the north, it's also quite windy as well. We've got low pressure to the north of Scotland, we've got tight packed ice bars across Scotland, so it's going to be quite a windy day today with those showery bursts of rain coming and going, merging into longer spells of rain at times. The driest of the weather will be across England and Wales today. A few showers around across some parts of Wales and South West Wales, but most places will stay dry. It is cooler than it was yesterday down in the south and the south east. It's turned pressure. Uh, temperatures today will be up to around 20 degrees on the south coast. That's 68 Fahrenheit. In the north with temperatures, and it will feel quite pleasant that in the sunny spells, but in the north with temperatures of around uh, 12, 13, 14 degrees with strong winds and rain coming and going, that will feel pretty chilly and I dare say even a little bit autumnal. Moving through to tonight, that low pressure will clear away to the north and the east of Scotland, so it'll take the worst of the winds away with it, although it'll still stay quite breezy across Scotland tonight with some showers in the north and the northeast. The rest of the country will turn dry uh, or stay dry with clear spells. And with light winds across England and Wales, it'll get quite cold. Temperatures in rural areas could go down to 5 degrees. That is low enough uh, for a touch of the ground frost or grass frost, perhaps on the lawns. Just for a time, it's going to be quite a cold night for the time of year. Very, very short nights now, of course. We're almost at the longest day. So uh, that's unusually chilly, really, five degrees for such a short night. As we go through into Sunday, the high pressure is going to be out to the west. We're very close to having a prolonged spell of warm and summery weather because the high pressure is intense at 1,040 millibars, but it's just centred in the wrong place. So the air coming around that high pressure is coming from a north to northwesterly type direction. The winds will be light, so uh, that's the uh, plus side uh, in any sense. But it's going to feel OK with temperatures reaching 19 or 20 degrees down in the south. But there'll be a fair amount of cloud up in the north, and that will still allow showers to develop. I think they'll be lighter and more scattered than they are today, but expect some showers for parts of Scotland and Northern England in particular tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures are the same as south, could reach around 19 or 20 grain again, but up in the north, we're going to be up to around uh, 15 or 16 at best. On Monday, the high pressure is still out to the west of the country. The airflow coming around is from the north to northeast direction. That could drag cloud and perhaps a few more uh, showers into northern and eastern parts of the country, in particular so parts of Lincolnshire, uh, uh, northern England, northeast England, east of Scotland could have some showers there. The driest, brightest of weather will be in the west and the southwest of the country. Temperatures may be a little bit down actually on uh, Monday. So in the south, probably the maximum temperature of around 18 or 90 degrees in the north, uh, nearer to 14 or 15. And that is below par for most parts of the country for this time of the year. Tuesday finds a high pressure extending in. I think there'll be a lot of dry weather on Tuesday with sunny spells and variable cloud. Could be some showers in the south or southeast. But uh, I think many places 
will stay dry temperatures again somewhere around 19 or 20 degrees at best midweek on wednesday is when the uncertainty starts to creep in Notice pressure beginning to lower down to the south, and that could bring some showery rain into the channel, possibly onto the south coast by the end of Wednesday, but otherwise plenty of dry and fine weather temperatures again around 20 degrees. Now from Thursday onwards, it is a very uncertain pattern. It's chopping and changing from run to run, and it's really annoying for me because I'm doing these updates for Lamar. It is affecting uh, these updates, so they are chopping and changing, uh, and it's a similar story for for uh, the UK actually at the end of the week. It's very, very annoying this, but it's a, such an uncertain situation. The latest run of the GFS wants to develop an area of low pressure across France and push it up towards the south and the southeast. But at the same time, the winds are going into the north, sort of fighting against that area of low pressure. So it could be, but in the end, the low stays across France and Belgium and Holland. It doesn't really impact the country much at all um so with a lot of caveats and uncertainty thrown in i think southern and southeast parts of the country are likely to have outbreaks of rain on thursday at some point through thursday or friday anyway it's difficult to pin down which day it will be but some sort of rain in the south and southeast which could be heavy and thundery the driest weather in the north and the northwest, and uh, that probably extends down across the country through Friday as that low pressure clears off uh, to the east. But keep in mind, there's a very good chance that low pressure will stay across France, never get up into the country, and will stay dry through Thursday and Friday uh, as well. And then as we go through to next weekend, very much in the realm of speculation, but perhaps bring low pressure in off the Atlantic, turning more widely unsafe. I don't want to say any more about the situation on Thursday and Friday because frankly I don't think the models have got this at all pinned down at this stage so uh, let's leave it alone the uh, charts from the weather outlook finally we've got the rain up in the north today elsewhere going to be quite a lot of dry weather particularly across England and Wales showers in the north for sunny but I don't think they'll be as heavy or as widespread or as prolonged as they are today, mainly dry again in the south. Perhaps a little bit more in way of showers impacting parts of eastern England as we go through into uh, Monday, otherwise dry in the west. A lot of dry weather on Thursday and on Friday, but wind will be f uh, on uh, Tuesday and on Wednesday, but wind will be freshening in the south on Wednesday, possibly uh, bringing some rain toward the channel by the end of Wednesday. And then as we go through into the end of next week, there's the uncertainty, but this is reflecting what we're seeing from the GFS with the rain there across England and Wales but I don't think that is necessarily how things are, play are playing out at the end of the week and then as we go through to Friday there could be showers almost anywhere so in summary it's an uncertain one uh, this week one of the hardest that I've had to do for a very long time uh, it's okay up to midweek with a fair amount of dry weather but some showers around particularly wet and windy and unpleasant across the north today and then as we get through to Thursday and Friday very uncertain it could turn really wet with thundery rain in the south and the southeast or it could stay dry and we keep the rain on the continent keep checking back for more because I'll keep you updated but that's all for now thanks for watching